you feel like you're floating. Oh, I forgot. I was supposed to close my eyes even. Eh? <laughs> I was told by my producer who is right behind the camera. Bonyezaki do the subscribe. <laughs> Anyway, all oh, my troubles are gone. Swara, Swara, we love you. We've enjoyed your space. You are nice. You're good. You're not far from Nairobi. What I like about Swara is the simplicity. You look at the structures, just a bit of bricks, some wood, which you can't really say it's the the ultimate wood finish but it has some rustiness to it and then it has the do I call it even the kinky look <laughs> yeah so it looks like the our our hair yeah it just gives you a different feel and uh, it makes you forget about the issues of Nairobi and you can it's, have kinky moments and you can have kinky moments even so <laughs> Yeah, Mumeskia Villa to Mesema. So if you want to relax, um, come with your family. This is this is a family room. The beds are awesome, very clean, very, very neat. The food is awesome. I loved the fish. Um, and I love the cakes as well. And the reason why I'm actually shooting this is because I want to encourage those people who have homes or they have shambas in the dry areas and they actually feel that they can't they can't have gardens guess what swara says something else you can have a garden have you seen all their beautiful flowers Lucky enough, you can have bones, which will keep you away from all the animals and, you know, all those guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful to look at. And they don't need a lot of water. I understand the last time we had rain here, good rain, was in 2018. 2018. Oh, in Yeah, 20, around 2019, 2018. Hmm. Huh. Kutakosio <laughs> Can you imagine 1920 uh, up to now? 2018 is when they had good rain, but these flowers are still healthy, strong. They are flowering. Oh my God, this is cute. This is beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Did you see the stripes? It is stunning it is stunning so you can have your your garden wherever you are you can work on it if you have a bit of water yes you can have your colliers um, but then if you don't please work with your aloes your cacti some succulents not all of them look at this Look at this, and the cats will be happy to to keep any slitherers. <laughs> you know what the slitherers are? They will keep the slitherers away. So those who are looking for snake plants, puss, puss, puss. Hmm, talk to kitty, 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 kitty. Yes, hi, kitty. How are you? You are so pretty. And thank. You. Oh, very friendly. This will keep the snakes away. And it's, it's, it's typical of any dry area, you can expect to have snakes, but cats um, and some, some plants can actually keep this, the snakes away. But hey, your kitty kitty is your best bet. 
for now, shall we see more of the garden? They actually have Kayapo. Do you remember that thorny hedge that has some yellow, yellow fruit? It can grow to a big tree. And guess what? This is what is providing cover and some shade um, to these cottages. There are actually two or three of them. And behind it, there is this big um, acacia. It's an acacia. It's an acacia. So when you're doing your landscaping, please work around nature. You can tell this was not planted yesterday, but they found it and they figured how to weave the houses in between the plants. And that's what you're looking for. So, thorny things are not so bad after all, yeah? <laughs> oh my God, it is so cool. And the beauty of it, what you're looking for is plants that don't die. In January which is the driest period of our months but for these guys it's through the year your kaya poles will do magic for you they don't dry they don't dry but yeah just like any thorns another trick is a is a rock garden and we already have a rock garden um, again the same theme cacti and anything pokey so, cacti, more cacti, oh and I have seen a succulent, that's a succulent, yeah, and this is a, what do you call it, what, Jesus, something Jesus? The reality is, we have a million and one flowers, a million and one um, species of all these flowers, so trust me, you will never know the names of all of them, and it is okay. Critical thing, do you enjoy the flowers? Do you love all your plants? And I believe that I do. That is why I'm here. And I can spot a lot of them. The difference, some will do very well when it's very dry, others are struggling, which is still okay. That is part, part of life. Um, this looks like um, Nandiflame. Jade, Jade is your best friend. Jade will survive in dry areas as well and it has clusters of flowers when it does bloom. That's it. Small cactus. Lovely. Zero care, zero attention, nearly zero water supply, but still looking awesome, beautiful, stunning, elegant, and they just make the entire compound look different one plant that is forever smiling through the year is a bougainvillea you can shape it to whatever you want uh, whatever shape you want you can have different shades i see they have lots of giant bougainvilleas and most of them are in this color this color they'll never disappoint you and they need very little care the most you'll be doing is to trim them uh, because they can outgrow your needs and trust me they can they can also cover the entire an entire tree so if you want a tree that looks pretty and nice plant a bougainvillea at the bottom and it will just climb all the way up so many shades many shades and you can also have miniature bougainvilleas the ivy seems to be doing okay it's drying though, but um, the leaves will fall off. But I have seen the yellow, the yellow flowers coming out. So the ivy is also a good one. And it feels like a succulent also. So it, it stores, the, the leaf will store some water in it. You see, there's a difference between that and this. And this, that's your ivy. These are your palms. The palm. Really? What's your Mombasa? I think you have the authority of speaking about the palms, yeah? Then yeah, a palm will never disappoint you. They'll just, you know, be there and feeling nice and happy. 
not worried about lack of water and they'll provide lots of shade for you the grass as well this one is a hardcore <laughs> this is a hardcore it never dries up in in fact you will have lots of um work to try and trim it and keep it you know contain it as you can see they've also been trying to contain it just to make sure that the aloe veras who are also the kings and the queens of the jungle that they keep the the place green and you notice the color difference when aloe vera is under the shade also it it goes more green when it's in the sun it starts changing color you know it gives you a deeper deeper color which is nice so play around play around with all these flowers just plant them and before you know it you have an entire garden looking oh so pretty and giving you joy what is that it's a lantana even this one hey awesome beautiful enjoy 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 <laughs> That was a long day. I'm still in my pants. And I guess it's lunch hour. I'm so sad that we had to leave. In a few, like in two hours, we need to go back home. Guys, if you have shamba in Sokimau. <laughs> and uh, Mavoko, Adi River. You still have um, a chance of growing your flowers. You know, keeping your garden green, even when there's not so much rain. I love to see. Just you know, watch the video, see the video, and above all, I was told by my producer who is right behind the camera. Bonyezaki, do the subscribe. I'm learning. I'm learning how to say okay and ring the bell, you know, for notification and subscribe so that you can see a lot of green stuff. Green fingers, people. Come, we see a lot of stuff. Bye. Bye. See ya. Cuts. <laughs>